Hey guys, this is Joy. I'm back again with another video. Give me one second, you guys. I just wanted to close the door so y'all didn't see all that. But um, anyways, you guys, so... All right, so I had tried to record a part two to the original video that I made and that ended up not going so well. So this is going to be technically a part three to a part two video. <laughs> so I'm just finishing up the weekend read for April the 12th through the 14th. And I do have to make the correction on the other video. It's the 12th, not the 11th. So we have Pisces left. And then we're going to get, um, after we do this we're gonna get some love romance angels we're gonna clarify we're gonna use a couple clarifiers get some angel answers and yeah but what I was seeing was there could be potentially a reconciliation but I feel like some of you guys are not gonna be going for it I feel like but again, it just depends on uh oh each individual situation. I, I was thinking like maybe some of you guys could have been dealing with somebody that was like kind of, you know, going back and forth with you or maybe playing some mind games or being manipulative or something like that. So let's take a look. My heat's about to turn on you guys, so bear with me. <laughs> okay. So let's see what messages and what guidance can we get. So this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Because I know I ended it off with that last video. It was with Aquarius. So now we're doing Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hopefully you guys are staying healthy, staying strong. Okay, this wanted to come out again. Let's get one more for Pisces. The memories of love have been coming out for a lot of people. Well, that's way too many. Somebody could be feeling an emotional loss of some sort. Okay. All right, so yeah, I have victory and success for the last video as well. So a lot of you guys are definitely gonna be successful. I feel like you guys are um, gonna be patient, Pisces. That could be for the collective as well, but um, we have solitude, we have choose wisely, we have memories of love, and we have power. So I feel like um, some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo. Um, I feel like somebody could be dealing with some sort of confusion because there's a choice that needs to be made, Pisces. Maybe you need to make a choice or this could be a person that you're dealing with is needing to make a choice. I'm saying that they're maybe looking at some memories of a love relationship or a love connection. Somebody could be dealing with the Aries. I don't know if I said that as well, but somebody could be taking control over a situation as well. An Aries or a Leo. Somebody could be prideful as well. But someone's going into solitude to make a decision, maybe about a relationship that they could have been involved in, whether it's a Leo or Aries. Yeah. This could be you, Pisces, or someone else. Somebody has to make somebody has to make a choice. And they're thinking about this heavily. It could have something to do with someone's past. You could be a person's past lover or vice versa. So that's what I have. And again, at the bottom of the deck, we do have a victory and success and patience. And someone's gonna be getting some sort of um, achievement in regard to in regards to a foundation. Somebody could be wanting to have a foundation with you. messages and what guidance can we get let's take a look yeah overall um, I feel like somebody could be dealing with some sort of obstacles and challenges but I'm getting that um, 
you know, someone is going to be gaining wisdom. This is for the collective. A lot of you guys could be dealing with a particular challenge that you're needing to overcome or you're going to overcome it. It's just going to take you some time. So let's see what the Romance Angels have to say. Let's pull three cards and see what we can get for the collective for April the 12th through the 14th for the weekend. And again, um, these readings might not resonate right now. They could be happening for you, um, coming up, or they could have already occurred. Somebody is wanting to have a reconciliation, I'm seeing. This could be you or someone that you're dealing with is wanting a reconciliation of some sort. So let's see, what messages and what guidance does the collective need to know over the weekend? What messages and what guidance does the collective need to know for over the weekend? Hopefully y'all can hear me. My heat just turned on. <laughs> Hopefully y'all can hear me okay. Okay, this is too many. But you know what? I'm going to take them. So we got deception. So there it goes again. So definitely somebody could have been wearing a false self mask in a relationship. But it's saying it's safe for you to love. So someone could have been being deceptive in the recent past or presently. Maybe they're not showing you that they want... Show, they're not showing you their emotions or their feelings. They might need to open up a little bit more. Or this could be you, collective. We do have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. The Your love life is benefits as you forgive your parents. Healing family issues. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. And keep an open mind, your love life, um, I'm sorry, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this is a little bit of a different message here than what I was getting last time. So this could be, you could be someone's new love. Or there could be a renewal of a love. Or somebody is, you're going to be meeting someone new. But I feel like someone's needing to forgive their parents. This is either you or someone else. And I feel like once that happens, maybe you can keep an open mind to maybe meeting a new person. Or maybe if you're in a connection, maybe you guys will be spending the holiday time together. The holiday time is Easter. So maybe you guys did spend holiday time together. Or maybe if some of you guys have um, spring or summer birthdays, you guys are going to be getting ready for that. Is what I'm feeling like. Um, let me use... Miss Cleo. My battery is at 15%, so hopefully it's fine. Yeah, we're good. Why do we have new love here? I feel like that message that I did last time probably wasn't meant for me to bring it out there or put it out there for you guys I don't know so that was someone's story I'm not sure whose story it was so why do we have new love here so I feel like there's somebody has stirred your romantic feelings whether this is you or it's like somebody else why is new love here yes yeah, somebody could feel like there was an ending between you and them but they're not speaking this truth. Somebody could feel hurt that there was an ending between you two. Or someone could feel betrayed, but they're not speaking this to you right now. Or there's going to be a renewal, but it's like there had to be an ending. And somebody needed to speak up. They needed to speak their truth, but something could be blocking them. Give me one more for new love. Let's see, I feel like this one. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to move away. Maybe from an ending or maybe from a new love or from a renewal. Somebody doesn't want to move away from a situation. Or somebody is needing to bring a connection into peaceful waters. Yeah, we have the seven of coins. So I feel like somebody is not even invested in the situation anymore. I feel like somebody wants to go towards a new love. Or there was a betrayal and now somebody is having a difficult time moving away from a situation. Somebody could have felt like they missed an opportunity with the Ace of Coins in the reverse. Somebody could be getting over a betrayal. This could be you or your person. Why do we have healing family issues here? Why do we have healing family issues? 
somebody needs to forgive their parents yeah a queen of cups so some of you guys could have had family issues that you needed to heal maybe this could have caused you to be emotionally unavailable this could have caused you to have low self-esteem or you could have attracted people that were like that or this could have been a mother figure that was emotionally abusive or verbally abusive give me one more for healing family issues this came out last time yeah there was a deception with the um with a mother figure or you could have been deceiving yourself with the seven of swords maybe somebody could have been been someone could have been pretending like they didn't have emotions and feelings for you in actuality they loved you with the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces uh, we have the two of swords and someone could just feel be feeling stuck about a situation there could have been a, a couple maybe where it was a queen of cups that was being deceptive somebody needs to heal a family situation um something um it's like divine timing is here but it's like a delay or somebody could have felt like something was destined all right why do we have keep an open mind here why is keep an open mind here yes yeah, somebody has some responsibilities or somebody feels burdened about a soulmate potentially or somebody that they you know was dealing with okay yeah it's about somebody's past somebody wants you to keep an open mind about them or somebody's keeping an open mind about you Give me one more for keeping open mind. Yeah, the devil in the reverse. This actually came. This was in the upright in the last reading. So yeah, someone is keeping an open mind about letting go of some sort of toxicities, um, some addiction, some fear based or negative thoughts. I feel like somebody's giving up, uh, like waiting for something. Somebody could have been waiting for a Capricorn, or someone could have been cooperating with a Capricorn. I'm feeling like someone's giving up on that. Yeah, this is a judgment call that's going to be made. Somebody's making a decision. Why is Honeymoon here? Why is Honeymoon here? Yeah, somebody feels stuck about, you know, um, you know, enjoying holiday time together with a person. Somebody's in their head about something. Yeah, about a missed opportunity with the Ace of Coins in the reverse. Somebody feels maybe hurt or regretful. Or feeling stuck, unable to move with the two of staffs. Give me one more for honeymoon. Give me one more for honeymoon. Yeah, the page of swords. Someone could be watching someone. The page of swords, doing some research. Somebody's wanna somebody's gonna deliver some sort of truth here. I'm just making sure this doesn't um go out on me. Yeah, somebody could the Knight of Staffs or the Knight of Wands. Someone could be letting go of some sort of player energy, I feel like. This could be you or your person. Someone could have been very, like, you know, promiscuous. You know, not really wanting to settle down. I feel like maybe that could be changing because of a new love. Or because of the fact someone's going to be forgiven their past, their family. All right, let's see. What do the angels, the angel answers have to say about this? This was this came out in the last reading. Let's see. What else does the collective need to know? Abundance. So a lot of you guys are going to be having abundance coming in around this time. We have this situation will improve. We have meditation brings answers. We have look for a sign. And we have no. So let's get some clarifiers. So there's a situation that's going on. I feel like a lot of you guys could be asking like what you should do about it. I feel like meditation is going to bring you guys some answers. Maybe you guys might want to, you know, um, get gain some solitude, do some yoga, pray. Look for a sign. All right, let's see. Why do we have the situation will improve? And again, this might not even be your story. This could be somebody that you're dealing with is going through this. 
So take it as it resonates. Why do we have this situation will improve? Yeah, because someone's moving. Someone's going on a new journey. And this is going to be making a situation improve. Why else do we have this situation will improve? Someone could be traveling towards you. And that's going to make the situation improve. This could have something to do with the marriage as well. Yeah, the pathway. Someone's going down a new pathway. Why do we have uh, meditation brings answers? Yeah, sudden wealth. Someone's going to be gaining some wealth here. But maybe somebody could be saying affirmations. They could have like a daily routine that helps them, you know, accumulate wealth or they have a plan here. Or somebody could have been after your money. Yeah, main male here. It's going to be coming into wealth. Why do we have look for a sign? Why do we have look for a sign? Or a lot of you guys are just focused on what can make you wealthy. Taking on masculine energy. Sometimes us feminines, we could have masculine energies. Yeah, somebody could have been looking for a sign to figure out if somebody was being real or not. There's a false person involved. Maybe this is your sign. Yeah, some, there could be a false person in a marriage. Or someone could have been trying to interfere in a marriage. Yeah, there's a message of concern here. Why do we have no... This is for April the uh, April the twelfth through the fourteenth. If you guys like how I read, leave a comment and also don't forget I'm doing the one to three question giveaway. I'm gonna be announcing the winner at the end of the month. Don't forget about that. I want to make sure I mention that. <laughs> um, why do we have no here? Yeah, I feel like somebody is gonna be moving away from a situation. I saw a change, so somebody could not be wanting to change. Why is no here? Why is no here? The lovers. So someone says no. Someone is making a choice here about a lover. Yeah, somebody's concerned maybe about you or you're concerned about someone. Or maybe the no is like, don't worry. But someone is like, no, I'm concerned. Give me a few more. Yeah. Somebody is concerned about an ending, an unexpected income. So I feel like somebody could think there's an ending, but I feel like there's not going to be an ending. Because we got the coffin. That does symbolize an ending. We have no... Hmm. So something is, it could be another situation is ending with something else. Someone's definitely concerned. But there's going to be some unexpected income coming in for some of you guys here. Yeah, because somebody feels trapped. So I feel like there's could be multiple situations going on. So I feel like another situation has to end. In order for something else to continue. Or there could have been a false person that was involved in a marriage. You could have been like your husband or your wife could have been false. Or there could have been an outsider. Like a third party. But that's coming to an end. And there's a concern. So maybe if you guys thought that if your marriage is going to end. I'm getting that that's not going to end. Or some of you guys do want to end a marriage. Or somebody could have felt like a third party was going to win. That's not happening. Why? Let, let's get some messages from Moonology and that will conclude our reading. April the 12th through the 14th. Thank you, Spirit, for giving me a message for the collective, for those that are watching and that need guidance. 
Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to be releasing something. That's why we have the coffin here and the message of concern. I feel like there was a third party here. Yeah, it could have been from someone's past. Yeah, believe in the impossible. Similar cards to the last reading, but not all the way. Um, I just want to make sure, okay, I'm at 9%. All right, so we got balanced spirituality and practicality. We have what do you need to release? Don't let your past hold you back. A new start is coming. And meditate and contemplate. So someone might be needing to release something from their past, whether it's a person, a relationship, you know, if it's a, a mindset, an experience, something, somebody is going to be releasing something or they're needing to do this. They're going to have to balance out their spirituality and their practicality because something could have been holding something back. But I'm seeing that that's going to be coming to an end with the coffin card. And there's a message of concern here. But I, and I feel like there's a new start that's going to be start, coming for some of you guys. This could be for you or a person that you're dealing with. But I'm seeing that in order for this person to release something, they're going to have to meditate and contemplate maybe on how to do this. All right, so hopefully that resonates for you guys. Thank you for watching. If you guys would like to get a personal or a private reading, go ahead and send me an email at livenarkfree9 at gmail.com. All right, um, and any of the videos that I've done, if you would like an extended reading, you could do the same thing. All the information is on my website, but again, send me an email. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment if you like the way I do my readings. Also, follow me on Instagram at LiveNarkFree, and also my Facebook is the same thing, LiveNarkFree. I do lives on there and videos, so follow me, you guys, to get the notifications. Other than that, you guys stay healthy, stay blessed, and I love you. Take care. Bye.